Hello everyone, this is Kushida. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I worked on XG Boost Classifier, and in this video, we will work on XG Boost Regressor. I already have the data preparation steps done here so that we can dive into the model development pretty quickly. So let me walk you through the data preparation step I already have done. So we are going to use this housing.csv dataset for this problem. So we have price, area, bedrooms, and all these other parameters. So we will try to predict price using all these other parameters. Let's check the data type. And you see some of the features in your object. So we need to convert them to numeric. I'm using this process to convert all the columns that are objects to the numeric categorical variable. So for i in the dot column, so we are looping through all the columns. If the column data type is object, it's converting it to numeric variable. Checking the data types of the df, the whole data frame again, and you see all of them are integers. Next, here we are defining training features and target variable. And training features are going to be all the columns except for the price and Target variable is a price. Here, using train test split method from scikit-learn library, we are splitting the data set into training and testing portion, keeping 20% of the data for testing purpose. Okay, that's all about data preparation. Let's get into the model development. So first, we need to import the XGBoost regressor. XGBoost import XGV regressor and then define the parameters i will put all the parameters in a dictionary objective i'm going to use objective as rank linear in my last video i shared this public github page that explains xgboost algorithm and it has an example problem so you can follow that as well and then you can see all the parameters, the explanation here. Uh, if you watched my last video, I also explained, uh, and you can go through this as well. So the objective, the first one I'm using, determines the loss function to be used in the process. For regression, it says you can use linear, and for logistic, it has two options, and I'm using this reg linear. The next parameter is max depth. You know by now what max depth is because I'm assuming if you are watching this video, you already know the random forest and decision tree. Those are actually prerequisite. Alpha. Alpha 1. Let's read what alpha is. Here you can see alpha. It gives us L1 regularization on leaf weight. Okay, and a large value. The leaf weight you can understand from the decision tree, the leaf. And a large value of it leads to more regularization. The regularization is a parameter that prevents from overfitting. So there are two types of regularization here, L1 and L2. If you want L2 regularization, you can use lambda instead of alpha. A learning rate. Learning rate is 0 0.1. Learning rate makes sure that your model learns the data slowly learns the pattern of the data slowly because we do not want our model to memorize the training data we want it to just capture the pattern of it so learning rate helps with that and estimators and estimators i would use 90 let's go here you see the learning rate so it gives us a step size shrinkage which is used to prevent overfitting its range is 0 to 1 and n estimators, I uh, I believe you already know it, it is the number of trees we want to build. And you have seen n estimators in random forest as well. And if you want, you can use this call sample by tree, which is for each tree, you can specify what is the percentage of the training features you want to use instead of using the whole thing. Sometimes using the whole training features, 100%, can lead to overfitting. 
if you are seeing overfitting uh, in your model. But we haven't seen anything yet because we haven't run any model yet. So let's uh, try and run first. If we see overfitting, probably we will use call sample by tree as well. Now that the parameters are defined, I have to XGB red. So just calling the XGB regressor method and passing the parameters we just defined. XGB reg dot fit. Now we will fit our training data so that the model can learn from training data. Okay, model training is done. And this is a regression problem, so I will use mean absolute error from scikit-learn library to evaluate the model. So from sklearn dot matrix import mean absolute error and then y pred we need to find the prediction xgb reg dot predict i will use test first test data okay now mean absolute error y test y pred Let's see what the mean absolute error we get. This is the mean absolute error for the test data. Let's see the training data, what we get. So we can see if we have any overfitting. Y train and Y pred. Actually, instead of Y pred, Y pred train. Just to distinguish. Oh. I had to put X train. Okay. Let's run it. And we can see on training data, our mean absolute error is much lower than the test data. So clear overfitting here. Let's tweak some of these parameters and see if we can improve the overfitting issues. Okay. I'm just copying and pasting. The objective we have reg linear. Though the loss function may or may not do anything to help with the overfitting, but still I want to use a different one just so that we learn one more loss function. Okay. Max depth, I will keep four. Alpha, I'll make it 10. As I mentioned earlier, alpha is L1 regularization parameter and it punishes the model if there is overfitting. So instead of 1, I'm going to use 10 this time. Learning rate, let's do 0 0.05. Let's try n estimators of 85. All right. Model training is done again. So just copy this to see the mean absolute error for test data. It's a little bit lower than before. But let's see what happens with training data. Voila, you can see. So it's much closer, right? Compared to these two, I mean, absolute error. These are far apart, right? These two are much, much closer than that. Also, the mean absolute error for test data is much lower than before. So we improved the mean absolute error and also brought the overfitting issue in much tolerable limit. If you want to try more and if you want to tweak these parameters more, please feel free to do so. Uh, tweak these parameters some more. The only way to improve your machine learning skill is to try to improve your model or make your own model. And I will leave you here. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.